William Calling from Wee Wee Blogs. Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga is coming out very soon, and the first song from the movie has dropped. It is called Volcano Man. Now, let me just preface this by saying I am sitting behind a ring light because when Rachel McAdams is on the screen, everyone needs a little bit of a glow up to compete. Normally, I would not be so blatant about it, but hey, why not? Now, look, the song is only 90 seconds, but it promises to be packed with a whole lot of fabulous because the producer is Sevan Kotecha. Oh my goodness, you guys. He did Ellie Goulding's Love Me Like You Do. Lo lo love Me Like You Do. He did the Ariana Grande song, No More Tears Left To Cry. He did Maroon 5, that song whose name I'm forgetting. Maroon 5's One More Night, Katy Perry's Rise, One Direction's What Makes You Beautiful. Oh my goodness, you know, there is some serious effort here and I cannot wait to listen. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this! All right, hitting Soleil. Ooh, I hope nothing flies in that mouth. Ooh, very cremation, Jeffree Star. Oh yes, eye contact girl, Rachel is serving it. They're separate and yet so connected. Beautiful landscapes. Oh yes, over the shelter. <gasps> they are together, connected by the keyboard. She is feeling this. He's very Game of Thrones, very Jon Snow for a new generation. Oh. Oh, dark landscape uplifting sound. The spirit is in them both. Oh, yes, sachet, yes. He's really making eye contact with Pharaoh. Singing through the camera, oh, working the waterfall. The commitment here to the snow angels, that is stunning. Mmm. Ooh, oh, LED fire, fuego. Yes. Oh, wow, and a nice little musical coda at the end, this little addition, the transition, the evolution, the journey. Oh my goodness, there is so much to digest here. But let me just kick it off by shouting out to Rachel McAdams, girl, Shantae, you stay. That was one of the tightest lip syncs I have ever seen. You were not lip syncing for your life. You were lip syncing for your legacy, honey. This is an example of a parody song that is actually good. It's sort of playing on so many Eurovision tropes. Folklore, that mythic sound is very prevalent. I mean, look at Kano for a recent example, but go further into the past. I'm Mar Quinn. I am the voice of the women, the women, the women. I am the voice. That Mother Earth spirituality. I think that's really enhanced here by the volcanic landscape, very clearly filmed in Iceland. Land of fire and ice, yes, but also land of love, land of journey and evolution. He goes from volcano man in the lyrics to volcanic protector man. The being is the description. It's very meta. A timeless hero must love too. And I love you. Again, call and response. He is strong like a volcano, but inside he also needs that warmth, that love, not just from the lava and the magma, but from a woman, from another person, a partner. This, this is just so touching. Orpheus and Eurydice, how far will you go for the one you love? Odysseus, you better get to Penelope, even if it takes you 10 years after the Trojan War. We are talking timeless love story. I like that this almost feels like a fairy tale or an ancient myth. She says that she's awoken by the spirits, these floating cords, and then she goes on this journey to, to meet her destiny, really, her volcano man, who with whom she can, I don't know, erupt, send lava spewing into the earth. I love that this has a mythological feel. You know, she's guided by spirits. The woman is asleep, and the cords, these floating cords, guide her to her destiny, to her love. Curiously, volcanoes create land, they create life. Look at Hawaii, it is expanding every single day. But at the same time, volcanoes can take life away because that fuego is real, real hot. 
but amid all that heat is born this love. Now you could argue that Rachel McAdams is just crazy and she's having a very bad dream, but I think that the music here is too real, too magical for this to be a dream. It almost seems descended from the heavens, you know, Osiris, Zeus, Hephaestus, Aphrodite, Volcano Man, okay? Oh, let's not forget Kai Shen, okay? Shout out to my relatives in China. Shout out to my granddaddy. I love how this has a global feel, honey. Yes, it's situated in Iceland, but the music is addictive. It's got a very, I don't want to say cheap, but you know that Euro dance, oops, 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 that beat that is at once a little generic, but also universal. Because in the cheap, there is universality. I know all y'all shopping at Walmart, just like me, all y'all buying your milk at Costco, okay? We all go there and it's fine because it's great value. What I'm getting here is value. Every second of those 90 seconds is filled with something special, a little tweak, just so much fun. Oh, and shout out to Molly Sandan. I love how they are keeping this realistic by going to Sweden, y'all. <laughs> you know at Eurovision, you got all your countries going over to Sweden for the songwriters. In this instance, we have the production team reaching out to Sweden to get this gorgeous vocalist, Molly Sandan. Oh my goodness, we remember her from Melody Festival in 2012, Why Am I Crying from 2016, Universe, and that other song from the first time she entered. This woman is a queen, and I am so happy to hear her voice coming out of Rachel McAdams. And also, shout out to Will Ferrell. He has the confidence to tackle these lyrics and these vocals on his own. A lot of you may say this is dated or cliche, but I think it's okay to be both dated and cliche. The fact is, we see this at Eurovision from time to time. Ultimately, it's about having a lot of fun. And this is what this song is doing. And that's why I am getting behind this. I expect that we'll discuss these issues in another reaction video with the Wee Wee Jury. But I just want to say that I don't think every single movie has to be a documentary. You can have fun with things while still being respectful. I mean, do you remember that movie Center Stage from the Naughties? I think it was 2000. I am the best dancer at the American Ballet Academy. That was a lot of fun and a lot of people were addicted to that movie. Best in show, like my favorite dog show movie ever. Blades of Glory with Will Ferrell himself. Cutting edge figure skating. It's fine to take inspiration for something without, you know, being exactly, we don't want a bunch of ballads is what I'm trying to say. We don't want this movie to have a bunch of ballads in it because we would all go to sleep. You need the fun, you need the fire, you need the fire saga. I don't necessarily think this would win the Eurovision Song Contest, but with the right staging, it could really slay. In any case, that is my quick take. What was yours? Are you loving every single second of this 90 second masterpiece? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Remember that we are on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, where you're watching this, all the social platforms. We hope you'll shout out your comments in the comment section. We'll see you later. Bye.